Welcome to All About Living in Tampa. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be talking about the top areas we see appreciating the most in the next five years. Stay tuned. be doing videos on a regular basis so if this is something that interests you finding out more about Tampa please subscribe below so one of the reasons why we're doing this video is because we've seen uh, higher than 10% um, increases in population growth that's gonna be moving to this area and um, versus the US and felt like that's gonna be some good information to pass along I'm a licensed loan officer here in Florida and if you have any questions related to financing let me know so the highest demand for homes ranged from two hundred dollars to $350,000, and they typically are staying on the market for 26 to 29 days. The fastest selling homes range from one forty dollars to one ninety nine nine, dollars and those are typically moving a lot faster because investors might be buying those homes as well, so you've got a lot of competition there. Um, the range on those is anywhere between 22 and 26 days on the market before they're, they're contracted. So. Uh, if that's a price point you're looking for, just be prepared that you're going to be um, competing against possible investors as well. So today we're going to be talking about uh, the, the areas that I felt like over the next five years are going to be growing based on population growth and also infrastructure and supply and demand tells me that you know home prices are going to increase based on how many people are going to be needing to move in the area so we're going to be looking at wesley chapel lutes and lana lakes odessa trinity area brandon and riverview and we're going to go over distances to downtown tampa what's going on maybe some of the neighborhoods and uh, school ratings Wesley Chapel. So we're going to talk about Wesley Chapel, but on the way up to Wesley Chapel, you actually are typically going to run through New Tampa as well. It's a 33647 area code. Right now, forecasting is going to be showing that 33647 zip code is going to be growing up to 11% um, within now in the next five years. So Wesley Chapel has one of the highest concentrated areas of A-rated schools in the state of Florida. Um, that's going from Veterans Elementary to Dr. John Long Middle School to uh, Wiregrass Ranch High School. Some of the neighborhoods you're going to run into are going to be Meadow Point, Wiregrass, Seven Oaks. Really new is going to be Epperson, uh, which is going to be that seven and a half acre lagoon that sits within a uh, huge community. Um, it's really beneficial to the community, but also to anyone that lives around that area. You can actually get day passes for adults, I believe it's $35. It's a crystal clear lagoon that has uh, cabanas to rent, uh, paddle boards, kayaks. It's got a uh, obstacle course on the water. Uh, you can uh, stay out there essentially for the whole day. So if that's something that might interest you, definitely check out Epperson Lagoon. I think you'll, you'll have a great time out there. So if you're heading east on 56 towards Interstate 75, you're gonna run into the Tampa Premier Outlets. There's abundance of restaurants to eat at, uh, places to shop uh, at a discount as well. And uh, all that is right there within that Wesley Chapel area. Also wanna just make a quick note that from Wesley Chapel, very general vicinity, you can jump on Interstate 75 and actually takes you anywhere between uh, approximately 30 minutes to get to downtown Tampa. So if that's where you're working or you need to get to the airport, I'll kind of give you some general idea on time frames. And Brandon and Riverview. You're gonna see a lot of, uh, probably the highest out of the, the, the areas that we're talking about, the highest population growth over the next five years uh, in Riverview. Uh, also Lithia, uh, you're gonna see it range between 14 and 17%, which is huge. Again, uh, top rated schools in the area within Riverview actually ranks um, 176 within the state of Florida. So really good numbers for a high school. And when we're talking about Brandon, Highway 60 runs through Brandon. Uh, it's gonna run east and west. Some of the neighborhoods we're gonna talk about like Fish Hawk, big master plan community, excellent schools there as well. Uh, that's going to be south of 60. Same thing with Riverview, it's going to be a little bit further south. Uh, when you're talking about uh, distances from, from that location to downtown Tampa, we have a lot of military that, that uh, get financed there, and it's because of the uh, commute. Riverview is about 20 minutes. Fish Hawk is going to be probably closer to 36 minutes, uh, depending on time of day. 
uh, but you can use access to the Crosstown Expressway. Uh, if you don't mind paying tolls, uh, it'll shorten your trip up quite a bit. Brandon also has a Brandon Town Center, uh, which is a, the local mall. It's got a lot of shops around there, a lot of restaurants, uh, movie theater. Um, Top Golf is just on the other side of 75 on 60 as well. Uh, those are all places, fun places to hit. Uh, but I will also say that the, the traffic there uh, gets very, very congested right there at uh, I-75 and 60. So if you can avoid that or uh, take another route, I, I definitely suggest doing that. Okay, let's talk about Lutes and Atlanta Lakes. Uh, Lutes and Atlanta Lakes are gonna run uh, north and south on uh, Highway 41. Biggest difference, uh, we're moving a little bit further east uh, from Wesley Chapel all the way over to the Veterans Expressway. And uh, that'll cover pretty much all of Atlanta Lakes and Lutz area. The 33558 and the 33548 zip codes in Lutz, you're gonna see population growth anywhere between 10 and 11% there. So again, uh, really high numbers. And uh, to be honest with you, Lutz has been developed uh, quite a bit already. Atlanta Lakes uh, going north is still, there's still quite a bit of land, still quite a bit of development there. Um, also, anything north of 54, all the way to the Veterans Expressway north, um, has a lot of potential growth as well. Some neighborhoods out there, you're talking about Bexley, is a huge CDD community. You can kind of reference some of the previous videos that we, we've set up to discuss that. Master plan community with a lot of smaller subdivisions within that community and uh, facilities like parks and recs, you know, those kind of things for uh, residents to use. So in the Lutz and Land Lakes area, uh, great schools as well. Lutz Prep is a charter school. Um, there's a waiting list on that. I believe they only go up to about eighth or ninth grade right now. So definitely if you're thinking about that and that fits your needs, you definitely want to jump on the waiting list as soon as possible. On the public school side, We've got McKittrick, Martinez, and Steinbrenner, all in the Lutz area. If you're going up to Land Lakes, um, Land Lakes High School ranks 97 in the state of Florida, uh, which is which is a pretty, pretty great number. All right, so if we're talking about commuting, uh, figure Lutz area, you're probably looking at uh, 22 minutes to downtown. You'll just jump on uh, I-275, and that'll get you there. If you're coming from Land Lakes, figure you're going to probably hit a few more stoplights, and that's going to probably run you a little bit over 30 minutes. Okay, so making your way further east of the Veterans Expressway on 54, you're going to run into Odessa, also into the Trinity area. Um, so I'm going to kind of combine those two. But in the Odessa area, the 33556 zip code, look at 12% population growth. I would say that uh, Starkey Ranch is going to be their big master plan community that's going to sit right in between Trinity and Odessa. It's got everything you can need there. A lot of new things that are being built out that way as well. So you got the new Publix, new restaurants. Also in Odessa, if you're looking at land, um, you're going to see a lot more um, acre lots, uh, acreage, land in general. Uh, Keystone Lake is one of the nicest lakes out in the area. Probably looking for uh, the value is really in the land, but you're going to see a lot of million dollar houses on that lake. We've actually uh, been invited to go out and watch the 4th of July um, festivities and the homeowners put on a uh, awesome show um, in the evening. Distances, if you're going from Odessa to uh, downtown, you're probably looking at about uh, 30 minutes. If you're going from Trinity to downtown, probably closer to 40. You're going out towards the water. Uh, you're going to run into Turpin Springs area. Uh, if you go a little bit further south, you'll hit Dunedin. That's the Anclo area. They've got some sandbars out there, Three Rooker, Bel Air, um, different ramps that you can go out of and um, go to Caladesi Island. I have a buddy that actually has a uh, uh, boat at a high and dry over in the Anclote area that he's, he's very happy with. When I'm talking about the population growth being really important, that's because we're gonna see a lot more people moving into those concentrated areas over the next five years. And what that means is, if there's limited supply, because uh, there's only going to be so many properties that, that are going to be ready you know, to go, um, <clears throat> that's going to drive prices up because you've got a lot of people moving into an area that may not want to rent. And if there's not a lot of homes there, you're going to start seeing some people start thinking about selling at that point because the prices are going to continue to rise. If you're making decisions on possibly moving to the Tampa Bay area, start looking at these 
um, handful for now of areas to maybe possibly purchase in if they work for you and your family because I think you're probably going to see the most appreciation in those particular areas. And let's look back in, you know, five years and, and see if we were right. If there's anything you want to find some more details about uh, in regards to school districts or anything about any of the areas we spoke about, please comment below. We'd love to uh, try to create some new videos, new content for you that will be useful. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next video.